I'm Stephen Ranella, writer, hunter, and outdoorsman. Not long ago, we lived in the wild, and with every clash between predator and prey, there is a story. A story of who we are and what we're made of. Let the hunt begin. Hunting is about tradition. It's about human tradition. It's about preserving distinct identities in various landscapes. And it's about a plurality of experiences that bind all humans. And in some parts of the world, and very definitely here in Hawaii, hunting pigs with dogs is the traditional way to hunt. I was prepared to go out and do what they did to experience the land as they experienced it. But I didn't know that was gonna mean for me. And in the end, the moment of truth for me was much more profound than even I had guessed it would be. Pig, 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 pig. It just erupted where it was just kaboom. And we ran up there, there were three dogs on it and they really had the pig angry. And Charles grabbed that pig, and he said to me, get the other one. Oh, my pig, I'm down. Oh, go get that yeah, pig? Yeah. And at that moment when I realized what was going on, I, I took the knife and ran up the river and was shocked at what I found there. The two youngest, smallest dogs were engaged in a battle to the death. The pig was spending as much time biting the dogs as the dogs were biting the pig, so I jumped in on the dog's defense. I in no way pictured that the pig would be coming after me with the same intensity in which I was coming after it. And all of a sudden I had this realization, you have to find it in you to stab the pig. To the outsider's perspective, it might appear to be barbaric. But an ancestral hunter, what they view is triumph, continuity, and sustenance. You will now eat. What did happen startled me. That I didn't even think about what needed to happen. I didn't pause at all. It was a, a very intense moment that I'll think about for the rest of my life. But the work isn't finished yet. These pigs need to be gutted quick or their innards will start rotting the meat. Now I know a lot of folks like bacon, but not many people would want to dive into this part of the process. But it's a necessary element of sustenance hunting. These pigs are ready for transport out of the jungle, but I got to admit, I'm feeling a bit winded. When we were headed up here, I had an image in my mind of, of Two of us tag team and one pig out of here. Oh, we got we got lucky today. We got two, man. I know, but what what now, man? That's a long haul. One each. We're gonna do them. We're gonna take it to the river and help let the water kind of help us carry right it downstream. Straight downstream, yeah. Two pigs means that Charles keeps one for himself, and I take the other one for the paina. These rocks are slippery as hell and one misstep can turn an angle. Oh, and there's also some tall drops to deal with.
been a rugged day and going in there I thought it was tough coming out with a pick is way tougher but I'm telling you man this is like pretty perfect because one thing you learn on this island a lot of these people man when they like the party that it's like food is essential you have to have the good stuff and pig is the good stuff so I couldn't ask for a better day feeling majorly relieved about the pig phase of the paena. I was nervous about what would happen when it came time to, 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 to kill the pig with a knife. I found it, you know, I found it in me to do it. And now this is like the, the real centerpiece of this meal in my mind right now. This experience will go down and it, it will be in my mind for the rest of my life. Um, one of the rawest moments I've ever lived, ever, up here in these mountains. I feel like that made me in some deep elemental way understand this landscape and understand the people. I will never forget this experience. 